the periodic table. In the late 1800s, Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian chemist, searched for a way to organize the elements. Mendeleev's early periodic chart arranged all the elements known at the time in order of increasing atomic mass. While Mendeleev was successful, it did need some changes. And in 1913, the work of Henry G.J. Mosley created an arrangement that we use today. This arrangement is called the periodic table of elements. And the periodic table has the elements arranged by increasing atomic number and by the changes in physical and chemical properties. The periodic table is organized by row and column. Each vertical column is called a group, which has similar properties. Their groups are numbered 1 through 18. Elements in the same column or group have the same number of electrons in their outer energy level. The horizontal rows of elements are called periods. There are seven periods, and in each row, the elements increase by one proton and one electron as you go from left to right. And it ends when the outer energy level is filled. Remember, we said the outer energy levels can hold eight, unless it is hydrogen or helium. So everything from helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, all of those have their outer energy level filled. Notice the colored regions on the periodic table. There's one particular colored region that makes a staircase down the periodic table. The elements on the right side of that staircase, which is like an olive green brown, are classified as nonmetals, while the elements on the left side of the staircase are metals. The elements on the staircase are considered semi-metals or metalloids. They have some properties of both metals and nonmetals. The outer electrons of an element are so important in determining the chemical properties of an element that an American chemist by the name of Lewis created a method to represent the outer electrons. An electron dot diagram uses the symbol of the element and has dots to represent the electrons in the outer energy level. Notice the electron dot diagram on the slides. Each dot represents how many electrons are in its outer energy level. Remember, outer energy levels can hold a maximum of, that's right, eight electrons, with the exception of hydrogen helium that can only hold, that's right, two electrons. Okay, it's time to show what you know.